Coffee and shopping and maybe some food too. All the good things. Yeah, I know the spiders got a reverse gear, but there's something reminiscent about the days when I had to pull my airplane out of the hangar uh, before I started the pre-flight inspection if I wanted to go for a go for a ride that day. So that brings back some good memories. Oh, it feels great. It's a beautiful fall morning, and we're taking a field trip in our own area, which is kind of nice. It's one of the uh, advantages of this new lifestyle. We s seem to, it's easier to strike a balance between, uh, you know, work time or productive time and uh, leisure time. We are a little bit late starting this morning because we stayed up late last night, night binge watching the series Yellowstone. When we returned from Montana, we wanted to find uh, some kind of movie or TV series that was set in Montana and a friend had suggested Yellowstone and I don't know why it got it its hooks in us so uh, it's kind of like rancher mafia <laughs> but uh, you know you feel compelled to watch the next episode to see what happens and before you know it uh, the evening has slipped away from you it's uh, pretty intense too but anyways we we just love anything that uh, has to do with Montana. That was such a great trip and uh, still spending a lot of time revisiting some of those uh, memories. It, it may just have been the, the very best trip of our lives together. Uh, we'll have to, to see if that holds out. But today we're going to Smithfield to the Vintage Farmer's Market. Have been meaning to do that for years. They have it twice a year. But today we're gonna we're gonna do it. So I'm looking forward to it. Our ride today is gonna take us to Smithfield, Virginia. Smithfield is a short drive through the country. A lot of good food can be had in this area. So one of the questions we uh, we got, uh, I actually got it several times, is why did we take the spider to uh, Tetons in Glacier National Park? That would have been a great trip on the spider. But we had originally planned this trip for uh, last year, in 2020. Well, Miriam hadn't retired yet, and we started the initial planning, uh, gosh, a year and a half ago, almost two years ago. And Miriam had to, uh, you know, kind of meter out her vacation time. And the time it would have taken the Spider 2, uh, the Tetons and Glacier and Spider back from, would have used up uh, a large chunk of her uh, reserve vacation time that she had stacked up. She didn't want to do that, and I understand that. So we liked it to fly. And as it turned out, uh, because of the uh, airline policy, we didn't get a refund for our airline tickets because of COVID. We just got a voucher. And uh, prices had gone down considerably for airline rates in the year that we had originally scheduled it for August of 2020 to August of 2021. And we were able to uh, fly first class round trip for just a few hundred extra dollars uh, so we already would have left about five hundred dollars laying on the table unused so we decided to go first class anyway yeah I, I hope that answers that question but uh, the irony is uh, we don't fly that much commercial anymore because we prefer traveling with a spider and when we were planning this trip 
I did not have a large suitcase. Uh, you know, I have a lot of backpacks and stuff sacks and things like that, but no suitcases. So I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on a suitcase because I thought that the cheapest one I could find was well over $100 for uh, what would probably be uh, a one-time deal. Well, at least we didn't have anything else on, in the pipeline that I could think of that we'd be flying commercial. So I didn't want to spend the money. So I went to the thrift store and I found one for $8 uh, that, had, that served me well. And my plan is to uh, donate it back to the thrift store uh, once I get a chance to get over there it's with some other stuff. But yeah, uh, $8 versus 120 Much preferable. It's coffee time, coffee time. Left the, uh, I'm not sure what they call it a farmer's market. It's more like a flea market type operation. There was hardly, well, there were no places that sold produce, vegetables, meats, dairy, anything like that. It was just stuff. Anyway, uh, it was still a nice, pleasant distraction, but uh, the food options were quite limited. So Miriam suggested we uh, head over to Captain Chuckamox. We went there a couple, about a year or so. Actually, it's been longer than that. Uh, we, um, we're introduced to Captain Chuckamux by uh, Tim and Faith last year about this time. So I wish they were here with us today. But uh, that just seemed to, uh, to beat any of the uh, vendor options at the very crowded autumn vintage market in Smithfield. And it's only about five or six miles from uh, that site. So why not? Such a pretty area to live. Love the. Just love to ride the dock every morning, sipping my coffee. Park up front? Yeah, why not?
monkey. It's yummy. And I get and I get my normal cheeseburger. That wasn't it. So here's the other one. It's been a while since I've had a cheeseburger. Well, guys, we're going to finish up lunch and start heading south. Thanks for joining us for our Saturday spider ride to Smithfield, Virginia. Next week, we load up the spider and the trailer and head south for a week-long spider ride to the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Y'all take care.